We have a large marginal to slight risk for severe thunderstorms today out east. A large portion of the country will experience below average temperatures as we move through this weekend and into next week. And our disturbance in the Atlantic over just a few days has gone from a 90% chance of cyclone formation down to a 30% chance. But some models still have it impacting the states. It's September 6th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Starting with our severe weather threat today, you can see we have a large marginal risk stretching from Georgia all the way up through Maine, and then a slight risk stretching from northeastern Maryland up through Maine as well. We did talk about on my stream last Last night, the possibility of this 2% tornado risk being upgraded to a 5% tornado risk, and they have done that. Augusta, Portland, Maine, Concord, Albany. All of you are in this 5% are right on the edge. If you are up here, even if you're in the 2% or around the 2%, make sure you have alerts on today because sometimes we do see some spin ups outside of these risk zones. For the most part, the rest of this marginal to slight risk today is wind driven. Strong to severe thunderstorms capable of producing damaging winds, hail, and maybe even a few tornadoes. Look to fire off around 12 to 1 in the afternoon out here before moving off to the east, and you can see some decent supercell composites in this Rufus run. Sometimes the timing on these storms are a little off, but I would say to really watch out between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. today because that is when it looks like we could have the highest threat for severe thunderstorms. This is a sounding I pulled out of Southern Maine and it's actually pretty decent for this time of year. We could be approaching 2,000 joules per kilogram of Cape, so our instability will be there. Our SRH is decently high and we have 25 to 30 knot shear potentially down at the surface. And you can see our possible hazard type here is marginal torque. So just be sure, again, if you're up here in this region, keep your alerts on today. Our disturbance in the tropical Atlantic that had a 90% chance of cyclone formation just a few days ago is down to 30%. And you can tell when you look at this satellite because, well, you can barely see it. Here we go. It is running into a big pocket of dry air and it does not have a closed off circulation. So this is choking out the low. Tropical systems need moist air and they need warm water. Well, you can see what this is running into. If this had a closed off circulation, if this was more developed already, it would be much easier for this storm to push through this dry air. But currently the odds of this disturbance making it through this aren't very high. And I can't remember the last time the National Hurricane Center labeled a disturbance at a 90% chance of cyclone formation over the next seven days. And a 60% chance of cyclone formation over the next two days, and that storm didn't form. So we're getting pretty lucky here. Now, if the storm did survive this stretch here, it would actually be more likely to impact the states. That's because it would likely stay farther to the south instead of moving to the north and becoming a fish storm. But as of right now, we're looking pretty good. Where you see these greens and purples, these are temperatures 10, 15, 20, even 25 degrees below average in some cases. A lot of this cold air is here to stay, although we may be having some warm air return back out to the east as we get into the end of next week and into next weekend. So enjoy it while it lasts. At least they'll be getting a break out west where you can see those cooler temperatures do look like they'll sustain through the end of the weekend next weekend. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.